Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here at the ITU headquarters in Geneva. Well, I'm really pleased now to have Tufi Salipa, who's come all the way from San Francisco, where he's the CEO of Toda Network. First of all, for our viewers, what is Toda? Thanks, uh, Chris. Uh, Toda is, is a protocol that it's uh, a layer below all the existing protocols of blockchain. So it's on the same level as TCP IP. With that, it evolved to become a company mainly because we are strong believers in bringing a lot of incentives for people to participate into building that into a global network and everyone to benefit from it. So it's an open source, the protocol is available for everyone to use. Every single blockchain can sit on top of it, the same way every single machine can sit on top of TCP IP. Of course, open source, uh, for some that have alarm bells because a lot of these themes, as you know, at this conference has been trust. Mm -hmm. And when you're sharing all that information, is that compatible with trust? Absolutely, and it's uh, actually the main reason or the raison d'etre of a blockchain is adding more security. So when folks, for example, they talk about decentralized governance, decent, autonomous decentralized governance is a security model. And that security model adds a lot of strength to a system, the way it's running, that it's not attackable by going after a central element. But at the same time, it addresses a lot of the efficiencies. When you don't have a central control that you have to audit it and you have to check and the check on the checker and so on and so forth, you reduce the friction. Up until now, we've seen a lot of evolution of the blockchain started with Bitcoin, which a lot of people don't admit to it, but it was exploited about five years and four months ago, where part of the machine started evolving. And at the beginning of the design, they were not expected to evolve. And that's called ASICs right now, which you know, burns more increases in the country of Iceland for the same transactions per second throughput. Uh, instead, we need to, for that amount of burn, we need to get thousands of transactions, millions of transactions, so everyone can benefit from it on the planet. Okay. Why have you come to this platform? Why is that useful for you? So, uh, so AI uh, security can benefit tremendously from autonomous decentralized governance. Uh, so I also run the AI decentralized, as we mentioned, as part of the ACM, and ACM is part of the, uh, the, this uh, summit as well. Uh, with that, we tried to bring 870,000 AI practitioners with 280,000 cryptographers. The intent here is to send that message to a lot of the AI practitioners and show them what autonomous decentralized governance and why do we have crypto economics introduced to the machine early on and why is it so essential to the security of the machine? Now, obviously, we're at the UN, they have sustainable development goals. Does what you do fit into that or do you have the same 100%. objectives? 100%. If you look at countries like, for example, like Madagascar, I'm going to give you one simple example and you can apply to anything of value that has a registry that you know, like you want to tra transfer your car from yourself to someone else. So let's take the simplest form, money. Actually, money is the simplest form in that anything of value. Any electronic money system that has been introduced to Madagascar today, Madagascar is one out of 150 other nations that they suffer from the same thing. Through every transaction, the electronic money system today is going to extract wealth through every transaction from that nation. It turns out nine other people get paid when a transaction happens outside of that nation. Not because the electronic money system people are mean and they don't want to, because that's what the, the foundation of technology is based on. Instead, when you give it total decentralized governance and using distributed computing, what do they have? They have network, people, and smartphones, and that's all it needs to run. So effectively end up maintaining and sustaining the, the nations and smart cities to sustain themselves with electronic money system and 150 other verticals that the blockchain is bringing to, to, to those nations. Okay, good example there. Tufi Saliba of Toda, I know you have a really big agenda, you're traveling to Moscow, you're going, I think, all across Europe over the next few days. And then Toronto and uh, San Francisco and then Seoul, Korea, yeah. Good luck with that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.